UMass Boston men's ice hockey at home taking on Anna Maria College. Looking to get a win before the winter break. Having come into this one losing four in a row. As Jacob Banks would help snap the Beacons three game scoreless streak. Ten period scoreless streak. With that first period goal redirect off of the Blake Coleman shot on the pass from Gino Carabelli. Puts the Beacons ahead. one nothing early on and they would continue to just have the offense be aggressive. Corey Clifton with this scoring chance right here in front on Cole Johnston, unable to get it by him. But then Carabelli would net his second goal of the season just under 12 minutes into the contest. Clay Bankowskis finds him in front, and Carabelli buries the shot opportunity. The Beacons up 2-0 early in this one, looking in full control of the game. And they would continue to just pound away at Johnston in net. And you see Grady Friedman with an opportunity here in the three-on-two situation. Off the post, Kriftsoff with the follow-up opportunity, not able to get it home. Banks and Carabelli teaming up here with the scoring chance in the second period against Johnston. Pushing and shoving would ensue after the play. And then Carabelli again in the two-on-one situation gets this puck in the middle. And he fires it on Johnston who makes the save straight away. Sam Best would be a rocking net for the Beacons, especially through the first two periods. Some great saves right there against the Amcats. And then Kriftsoff in the third period would have this shot opportunity off of the top of the net, and it would stay there. So the Beacons' lead is still 2 nothing. And then Best, like we mentioned before, a rocking net. Another nice save in the splits right here. Keeps the game at 2 nothing. Gino Carabelli once again in the 2-on-1. Cannot get that shot by Johnson. And then the big play of this third period would come right here. Carabelli lays this hit on an AMCAT player in open ice. After this, a little bit of a scrum would ensue. Carabelli would get charged with a game misconduct in a five-minute major for contact to the head. And the Amcats now, with that five-minute power play, would fully try to utilize it to get back into this game with just over eight minutes left. Jazz Kripsoff, though, tries to give the Beacons a three-goal lead, unable to do so. And then this is where Anna Maria would finally break through. Derek Raposo with the power play goal. His fourth of the season on the assist from Cam Toby cuts the Beacon lead down to one. And then a short while after that, less than two minutes or so, Cam Toby is going to net a power play goal, his second of the season on the pass for Matthew Byrne to tie the game up at two all. And just like that, it's a brand new ball game for these teams who are going back and forth all night. The fans getting into this one. And then we head to overtime and Sam Best with a nice breakaway save. You're going to see a turnover deep in the offensive zone for the Beacons. And the Beacon defense rushing to get back, but Sam Best coming up big with the save right here keeps the game tied at 2 all. And then we'd have a shot by Jazz Kripsoff here. We're going to kick it over to Chris Del Sordo for the game-winning call for the UMass Boston Beacons. One more chance. Friedman fakes the shot, dances in. It's blocked in front. It's covered. Kripsoff gets it. Five seconds. Four. He scores. He Jazz scores. Kripsoff walks it in. The biggest goal of his career in his ninth game. The student section loves it. The fans getting waved home. Jazz Kripsov with 4.1 seconds left. And the Beacons do win their third game of the season. As you hear the voice of Chris Del Sordo and Matt Meisenbacher calling that one, the UMass Boston Beacons snap their four-game losing streak, win 3-2 at home, heading into the winter break against Anna Maria College. They will take on Fitchburg State University in the first round of the Codfish Bowl 27 days from now on December 29th.